Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video in the series. We are making school management system. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, for some reason, I don't know why, you should. And hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Now, what we did in the previous video is, uh, or maybe last two videos, we created this dashboard that you're looking at. And uh, in the last video, when I stopped the recording, I realized something. And what is that? I will demonstrate here. What did I realize and what decision I made? So let me explain that first. Don't skip it. It's very important that you hear me out. I'll try my level best to be as quick as possible. All right. So in last video, when I stopped, what I noticed is that I'm doing some repetitive things here. For example, I did the coding behind students button and then I double click on any of the student and I get another form with another list box that has actually the similar information what we have on the dashboard. So that's to me repetitive things. All right. So what I what I thought that all of this doesn't make sense. Uh, all of this means this part, you know, everything else makes sense. But the, having the list box having the a separate button with which uh, opens the form same form having a separate uh, search and search button search text this particular things these particular objects doesn't make sense to be on the uh, dashboard so because if you look at other forms right you have the list box already you have the search option already so it's kind of very repetitive right uh, that is not good not good from the uh, designer developer point of view because you have to spend more time in developing and not good from the user point of view because maybe this will cause the application to slow down because we are fetching the same information uh, twice or thrice maybe so that's not really <clears throat> a, a useful uh, thing to have in the application so what I decided in a nutshell I'm going to get rid of uh, this list box on the dashboard open student button text box and search boxes from the dashboard and we will re re restructure the dashboard and then we will um, do the vb coding behind each button to open the respective form that's what i'm going to do in this particular video so let's get started because uh, that's what i wanted to demonstrate so i'll quickly go on design view and before i do anything i'll go back to uh, the vb editor uh, for this form and i'll press ctrl a from my keyboard and I hit delete from my keyboard because I don't really want uh, this VB code anymore. So I got rid of it. Now I'll get rid of all of these objects on my form. There we go. Now what I will do, I will select half of it. Right? So for example, I'll bring it here. Uh, let's say here. Okay, I'll uh, minimize the height then I'll bring it on the top and I'll bring this here kind of align it okay I'll copy the oops sorry Control C and I'll copy it here Control V and I'll put it right here there we go now I'll send it back so it kind of become the background that's what we wanted this for and let's minimize this a little bit because we don't need to have that height okay there you go that's a little it looks it looks a little bit blank that's okay we will uh, we'll, we'll do something about it right we'll uh, make sure that it is actually uh, good looking for uh, don't worry it's just a beginning so it's like a little white I'll go to the form view. All right, this is how nice now it looks like. I know not not as fancy as it uh, was before, or not as fancy as it's supposed to be. If you want to keep the old design, you can keep it. It's up to you. I mean, uh, except the list box, I will strongly suggest that you get rid of list box and everything else from the dashboard. If you want to keep the same design, you can do that. If you want to change it to this way, you can do that as well. Uh, but let's uh, do a little uh, background color so it looks a little nicer rather than just blank white. So 
go to the format and uh, let's pick this bluish right because we are we have the bluish theme with this so we'll keep uh, the same similar theme with the dashboard now I, as i said it's not fancy whatsoever but it will work all right now let's get to work um, and let's bind one of these buttons with the uh, forms themselves so i'll select the button i'll go to the form view uh, sorry form uh, and then i'll go to the event tab dot 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 code builder and i'll control i need to get something something that is very important and that is this the error heraldic code right i like to do that so let's go in here let's paste it so i'll say on error I'll resume next okay now what is this button student so it is used to open the students app button uh, form so i'll say do cmd dot not beep dot open form and the form name is students app all right we'll copy that now uh, we'll copy the entire thing and we'll go to the next button which is admissions so this button will be used to open the admissions form okay admissions f okay while i'm doing that i would like to talk about uh, you know there's a thing called in japanese there's a word it it is called kaizen and kaizen means continuous improvement and uh, continuous improvement is important so that's what i'm doing i don't want to make a bulky application i want to uh, i don't want to repeat the similar features everywhere so that's why you know we are doing this anyway so fee f uh, that's the form that will be used to collect the fee, fee so that i did that journal reports will come back when we will have a report center we'll come back to that uh, now manage employees so employees f this form should open and dot 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 code builder and we go in here and say employees f close that academic year dot 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 and paste in here and this is academic year f that's the name academic year f All right close that and go to the classes so classes form where it is there you go we'll go to the classes form dot 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 code builder and we'll paste here and we'll say classes f okay we'll go to the exam category okay and i'm sure the form name is exam category f we will verify that exam category f right sure uh, exam type dot 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 code builder and we'll have exam type does it have f yeah it does <clears throat> F, F. So we got it. Our right, fee structure. We'll go in here and paste it. What's the fee structure? Fee structure. Okay, it doesn't have F for some reason, but it's okay. Fee structure. All right. We'll close that. Fee type. So fee type F. All right. Paste in here, P type F. There you go. Okay, we close that. Then we have sections, and then sections F SCC. Okay, um, then we have subjects, so dot 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 code builder, and then. subjects f all right we're done coding behind all of these buttons so we'll go to the form view let's test it out so students yes admissions yes fee collections yes employees yes academic year yes classes yes category yes exam types yes manage fee structure yes manage fee type yes Manage sections, yes, and manage subjects, 
yes as well so all the buttons are working as they supposed to so now you see that you know before we had repetitive uh, things happening so i click on a button then the data is fetched on a list box and the same data is being presented in the list box on the form which is being opened so that's why i think according to me that's a repetitive that's why i thought to change this uh, design uh, completely and uh, hopefully this will make uh, 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 things easier for you as well as a developer and easier for the user as well at the same time that's it for this video in next video we are going to actually bind these tiles with the actual numbers from so actual number of students actual classes actual subjects actual faculty and actual financials etc etc so that we are going to do that and uh, it will be exciting and then we will move on to the reporting of this application and then we'll close this application anyway that's it uh, for now thank you very much and uh, i will uh, see you in the next video until